Hello again and welcome to another Kakarot Gaming video. Right, well, let's jump into it, shall we? Um, today with this video is we're going to talk about the Aliens franchise and the possibility of another Alien game. So, um, as you know, Fox have been kind of teasing and hinting at a, at a few different things recently. So, I'm going to start from the very beginning and for those that don't know and work my way forwards. So, um, as of last year... Fox said that they were going to, in development, a new Alien game. No details of what it was. It was just saying that, you know, an Alien game is in development at some point. You know, a few months off, a few months on, and eventually we found out that they, they confirmed that the studio making the so-called Alien game was Cold Iron Studios. Now, Cold Iron Studios is a studio owned by Fox. They don't really have any major AAA experience, uh, but they've got a lot of games under their belt, mostly to do with like MMOs, uh, the multiplayer side of games. Um, so for them to take on an alien game is um, somewhat a little bit left field of what they're usually used to, unless this alien game obviously turns out to be like a multiplayer or a kind of MMO or kind of multiplayer integrated into it at somehow, shall we say. So yeah, you know, whether or not Fox has other studios out there obviously working on other alien games no, we, we don't know like that could be a surprise and maybe something again they're doing um so anyway fast forward a little bit and we're coming up to the game awards and just before then uh, a lot of people found out that fox had trademarked the name alien blackout now alien blackout could be associated with loads of things but um the most interesting thing is they is they trademarked it on the video games and entertainment so you'd like to you know put one and one together you'd think that that's a an alien video game out there and with obviously them saying that cold iron studios is doing one it might be the cold irons game a lot of people thought that we might see it at the game awards unfortunately that wasn't to be like again keeps everybody guessing fast forward even a little bit more and they've been teasing this year of the expansion of the alien franchise now the alien franchise has been a little bit quiet apart from the prometheus and the covenant stuff in the last couple of years i know and the way that they said they were expanding it could be various different things i mean they announced a aliens comic called aliens resistance which was like a natural successor like a sequel to the alien isolation game which was released in 2014 um, which is the first volume is also set to be released in January 2019. So if you're interested in that, I would uh, go and pick that up. As they continue to t as they've continued to tease new and exciting things, uh, they've now tagged more things in Amanda Ripley, which is going backwards. Is again Alien Isolation, uh, which is the thing that gets me a little bit hyped. Now again, they said that they were going to do stuff with the comics, uh, but it's the tagline which is read, watch, and play. Now, obviously, we've got the comics. Whether or not they're going to tease anything for maybe a new movie or a new game, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that could be really, really interesting um, and how that... I mean, a lot of people are hoping for an Alien Isolation sequel because, I personally, I thought that was one, probably one of the best Alien games um, to date. I really enjoyed it. It was scary. It was fun. A few people had an issue maybe with a lack of combat with it, but I did it. The suspense, I thought, was it was amazing. It's one of the few horror games I think I've played where it's not so much as jump scares, but the suspense of the alien hunting you down. I I love that kind of that kind of horror. I uh, find that much more impactful than just walking down a corridor and you know something jumping out at you. On to that subject, though. Obviously, Alien Isolation only sold uh, roughly about two point one million copies as of from March two thousand and fifteen. Uh, so the game had been released for about six months up until that point, because I think the game released in October of 2014. Fox obviously said that the sales for the game were weak and below expectations at the time. And there's, I think there's a couple of reasons for that, most notably being the game before it, which was Aliens Colonial Marines. Obviously, the massive drama that with that, with the way that the, the game was unpolished, unfinished, bugged um the trailers the way that they they pretty, pretty pretty much lied about everything that's there i mean if you go back to the gameplay trailer and um it's completely different it's like it's the graphics are complete are dulled down everything that was in that trailer is not in not in the final game like you could you could argue for adjustments and stuff like that but that that was just it was practically you know they were practically lying and uh it had a lot of hate and a lot of backslash 
from that, and rightly so, to be to be honest with you. I mean, I think it completely deserved what it got. So yes, Fox said the sales for that game were weak and below their expectations. I think you've got to take into consideration as well that like Prometheus and all that was released around about that time as well. Again, some mixed receptions. People weren't too overly keen. You get your diehard fans that, that will like Alien, no matter what the premise is for it. But uh, I think a lot of the casuals weren't too keen on Prometheus. Um, and even now, Covenant that came out, it, it, I think it's a different direction to what most Alien fans want. I mean, you want the Xenomorph, you want the, the lore, you want, to, you want to evolve the Alien, you know, tell new stories with it. Um, and I think Covenant's going in more in the place, and Prometheus, more in the place of creation of life and God and where we came from and the creation of the Alien. And to be for the people I've spoken to and the reactions, general reaction you get, I don't think many people are interested in that. It does grab people's attentions. Um it's not what you go in for an alien, you know, for an alien movie to watch. It's, it's, that's, that's that's not what made the franchise, you know, great as it was. Uh, which leads me again onto this, is whether or not this is the uh, Alien Blackout is the game or it could be an Alien Isolation sequel. No one's obviously confirmed that yet. It's... I think that everybody's hoping for that. Obviously, Fox, like I said, Fox has said that there will be no sequel. Um, the guys who made it in isolation, um, Creative Assembly, the team that made that game have pretty much broke up on are doing other things, and they're working on other they're working on um, other games, and have said in the past that there is no sequel. So, could the Cold Iron Studios Studios game be maybe a successor to that, but but, but something slightly different? It could be, or it could just be a game where they're continuing the Amanda Ripley storyline, but maybe a different type of games. Like, like you could almost harness back to the the original films where Alien was an outright horror, where Aliens was still a horror but a bit more actiony, and maybe they they may go that route with Amanda Ripley. Now she's had the horror experience on the Sebastopol. It might be a bit more actiony of, of a breakout or something like that, or it could add marines. There's, there's so much you could do there, as long as they kept that. I think to the core of what made Alien Isolation great, because um, Clone Marines was, was 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 just awful. Everything from the storytelling to, to the gameplay to the, like I said the graphics, just everything was subpar. So is this the Aliens franchise's last attempt for a good game? I mean. You look at the history now and the, the merger that's going on from Fox to Disney, of, with Disney buying out Fox, and I can't really see Disney doing much with the Alien games. I mean, they don't really develop their games in-house anymore. Just look at the Star Wars franchise. As soon as they acquired that, they gave the license to EA. I mean, <laughs> I might talk about that in another video, but as of right now, they don't really do much with games so this might be fox's last something they've had in the work but before that merge is complete and it might be the end of of alien games unless disney decide to do something with the franchise but i wouldn't be surprised like i said with alien and with the predator franchises being as mature as they are that they might try to keep that under the banner of fox uh away from their main kind of disney brand for now or they might not i don't know it depends what their plans are but, uh, but I, like I said, I can't, I can't see him making Eleanor, Disney Princess, or the Queen. So yeah, personally, I think I lost Raiden on this game. Um, I think the sales for Alien Isolation were weak because I think people have been burned a bit too many times from the Alien franchise. Uh, Clone of Marines were still fresh in the mind. Uh, the movies weren't, weren't panned, but you know they weren't doing brilliantly recepted uh, from fans and the casuals alike. And it just Alien Isolation came at a time where I think a lot of people weren't willing to take a punt, not only on Alien, a new Alien game at the time, but a horror game as well. I mean, horror games are a very niche market as well. Uh, some people are just damn out scared to play the game. And I think those kind of things combined has really, really probably stopped Alien, the Alien isolation from selling as well as it has. I mean, like I said, six months on, it still sold 2.1 million copies. So you've Got to imagine that through sales, and it's been you know, five, almost five years now since isolation. Jesus, that's not fast. That it sold more copies. I would not be surprised if it's maybe about 3.5, 3 million copies that now have been sold, probably in its lifetime. Which, 
it's pretty good. I, you know, considering that, like I said, with the, with everything that's happened at the time and before that, I think maybe I think over the couple of years, I mean, everybody's been screaming for an Alien Isolation sequel, and maybe maybe Fox is listening for the first time. I think that's something they need to do as well. Too many companies don't listen to the fans, and it's the fans sometimes that tell you what they want. Fans aren't always right, of course, um, and sometimes what you know, companies and stuff like that, our development teams can make absolutely brilliant brilliant creative decisions but i think you know i think alien isolation will be i know a fantastic opportunity to progress that into, into 2019 as well considering that this is alien's 40th anniversary as well in 2019 so for fox to come out as well and bash maybe a new movie or something or announce something obviously they've got a new comic series coming out with um, alien was aliens resistance and, and the prospect of a new game dropping can breathe new life into the franchise, I think, which can only do it really good. The bad thing about that, or maybe the warning signs, are is if another Alien game now drops, from whether it be from Cold Iron or from another studio that maybe we don't know about yet, and the game bombs, then I think the Alien franchise is in trouble. The, that, the last two movies have been overwhelming. I mean, you, even though the franchise as a whole now... To the general consensus of the of the public, like Alien has like two good, two fantastic movies in Alien and Aliens, with the rest obviously a lot of, very debatable. Um, and then obviously when you go into spin-off territory with the Alien vs Predator films, kind of took the shine and the glimmer glimmer away from the, the Xenomorph in general. But to be like I said, it it's one of them. I'm really excited to see what it, they do. I'm I'm really stoked. I want them to bring out an outer game. I, I hope it's a, it's a sequel or some kind of form of successor to Alien Nation 2. And as long as they keep bringing out stuff, I'll keep giving it to you, Slaughter. Um, yeah, so maybe it might be its last chance, but um, I really hope it's there because the Alien franchise deserves that. And um, I hope it gives us uh, something to look forward to. So, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching this video again. And as always, guys, stay frosty, and I'll see you next time.